In more politics, Baringo Senator Gideon Moy paid a courtesy call to the Mombasa governor, Hassan Ali Joho. Flanked by other leaders, the two pledged to work together in uniting Kenyans and building bridges. Our regional reporter Francis Ntalaki reports from Mombasa. <laughs> A warm welcome by the Mombasa Governor Ali Hassan Joho, a meeting between Baringo Senator Gideon Moy and Governor Joho, providing the first step towards reaching out to political parties across the country with an aim of improving the livelihoods of Kenyans. It's all about building uh, bridges. It's all about walking uh, the talk, uh, of saying that let's unite the country. Let, let's come back uh, together. We've wronged each other, let's forgive. Um, that which we may have said, which maybe hurt uh, some people, hurt a, a, a person or a community. And let's focus now on our people. Now it's incumbent upon us to start moving out, to go to other counties as well. Um, we in the coastal region have worked well together, and we will continue to work together. So we'll consolidate ourselves very quickly and begin the journey. So. Possibly, maybe one or two functions before, before Ramadan ends. And after that, we'll be all over the country. The Baringo senator promised to work closely with Governor Ali Hassan Joho in solving matters that have remained thorny so that the leaders can serve Kenyans better. The people of Rabai should be able to be comfortable with the people of Baringo. They should interact, do business, and live together. So there is an important issue of cohesion and coexistence as a people. There are obviously issues which he has raised, issues which Kenyans have to have their conversation about and deal with it. But we can only deal with it if we talk to each other. And that's what we're doing now. And we're all committed, all of us are committed um, to having a, a, a united, peaceful, prosperous uh, country. The visit by the Baringo senator providing a platform for Governor Joho to change tune regarding his severe relationship with President Huru Kenyatta. You know, initially we were skeptical on, on the visit of President Uhuru in this region, particularly in Mombasa County. But now we're looking forward for his visit in Mombasa <laughs> because of building bridges, really. And, you know, we, some of us, we want normalcy eh, in matters governance to resume. So the focus would be to do what? To better the life of that Monainchi. The Baringo senator, who is also the Kanu chairman, extended his well wishes to all Muslims across the country as they continue to fast during the holy month of Ramadan. Wishing our brothers and sisters of the Muslim community a happy Ramadan. And the governor has promised that he will have uh, food. If, iftar. 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 Uh, he's going to arrange this lovely one for us and we'll, we'll definitely see us. He also called on key state institutions not to relate on their resolve to tackle corruption and that there should be no sacred cows in tackling graft. He pledged his support to President Kenyatta's move to end the vice. Francis M. Talaki, KT News, Mombasa.